So the only thing that your client is agreed with is the 21 days? The 21 days, so far at this point in time. We also agree with the, the power, whether, whether the first respondent, whether the first petitioner has powers to appoint the committee in the first place, but that one we can be willing to come back to hear the parties. Hello, Chief. On behalf of the interested party, yes. my name is Maro once again. Yes. I do not think it is proper for the court to issue that order of stay at this moment. And when all the parties have not even filed a document, I think we can get a nearer date. Parties be directed to put in their response in a very short time, then we can entertain this application so that you can get orders after after the application has been heard. Yeah, that's right. The only thing I'm when when is the, the 21 days lapsing? That's my concern. My senior states that uh, Lapse tomorrow. Yes, I do not have that instru instructions at the moment. So you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. I uh, cannot doubt, you can't make the application right now. So it's just to get another date when my colleague who, is, who conducted this particular matter can come and argue this application. Yes, that's right. But if the, the, the 21 days lapsing tomorrow, what will the court be hearing after that? Maybe the petitioner yeah. can. Respond. Yes. <laughs> Your Honor, my instructions to the same are limited, but uh, a reading of the notice yes. reveals that uh, it applies to the procurement process <laughs> and um, not particularly to the applicant. Because I, so I don't think that uh, the applicant will be prejudiced even if the 21 days lapses. Because uh, it applies to procurement uh, contractors and um, the applicant is seeking a decreto sum. So the same, I think, are quite totally different. Where does that uh, does it not appear in the record of the application? It is, uh, this application is not coordinated. It appears on uh, an extra PW2. Hmm? An extra PW2. Your Lordship, the challenge you're having is that the Nairobi City County is appointing a committee to review <coughs> and determine whether to pay pending claims. Some of those claims, like the one for the applicant, are pursuant to court orders. Well, that's all right. The court will deal with that one. The only thing I'm concerned about is such for the 21 days. The 21 days is set out in an extra P and 2. P and 3. This is 9th of March 2018. It was, uh, it was uh, gazetted on 9th of March, but we only became aware of it on 22nd when the, we saw it in the newspapers. No, PN3. PN3. Now, PN3, is, which page does it talk about 21 days? Page uh, number 2, 658, 656, 657. Page 657, the appointment at the bottom. The bottom right of the Gazette notice. 657. Yes. Paragraph 2. <coughs> you can see the Gazette notice? Yes, uh, you can see it. Uh, and you can see that the 21 days are for, for submitting claims. Yes. It's not for procurement. From the terms of reference, on yes. the next page, uh, it is an argument that uh, the petitioner is not necessarily covered uh, under those claims. And again, uh, they do not stand to suffer any repairable. Well, let's leave, leave whether yeah. the question is entered. You can yes. see the Gazette notice says 21 days. Yes, I can see. And that the 21 days for submission of claims. Yes. Or yes. bills. Yes. To the committee for consultation. Yes. Yes. It's not for procurement. Isn't it? Yes. So automatically, if the, if the, the 21 days lapse, they may be locked out from submitting their claims. 
This is actually the problem. What of you require 21 days? Yes, 21 days. Come back from the past. So this they would have considered the the application in particular the impugn gazette notice where the respondents are entitled to respond. The application, the applicants are entitled to some measure of protection. Accordingly, let the respondents respond to the application within 21 days. In the meantime, the government notice to the extent that it grants 21 days for making the claims is hereby stayed. The matter is to the 30th of April 2018. I appear for your petitioner, applicant. 
together with Malanjo friends, Senator Jansoy Orengo. Yes. Honorable Daniel Maonzo. My old friend Billy Soweto. Mr. Cliff on Veta. Professor George Wajakoya. <coughs> Mr. Nelson Harvey. I'm present. Mr. Waipo Onyoike. My old friend Mr. Ndobi. Appears for lost side of thing. Most my land friends from the oh sorry. My land friend Mr. Kamau. For the first interested party. Appears for the first interested party. Kenya Human Rights Commission. The National Commission of Human Rights. And uh, my land friends from the state could Hearing for the response, Mr. Matilda, the state, together with Mr. Nene and Mr. Odiyam. My Lord, the smart is coming for sentencing. Your Lordship gave far more than yesterday. The petitioner, Mr. Yeah. Nikuna yeah. Nikuna, will be here this morning. And the first, second, and third respondents, that is the Cabinet Secretary, Inspector General of Police, and Director of Immigration, should also be here. Probably the State Council could shed light as to whether they are here or not. Yes, Mr. Matinda. Yes, my lord. My lord, we didn't try to reach our clients, the first to third respondents. I am aware the order was made late yesterday. And between yesterday and this morning, we have not been able to, to reach them. They are not present in court at all. Lord, I also wish to inform the court that yesterday we also filed uh, some applying affidavit to the matter. And also we filed an application. A certificate of urgency seeking uh, to set aside the orders of Justice and Bolivia. I am aware, my lord, that yesterday in the afternoon you did convict the first to that respondents. My Lord, that application would, would be seeking your uh, intelligence and guidance to hear us on that, on that application before today's proceedings. As we believe they go to the root 
of the proceedings and the sentencing that is contemplated today. Yes. My Lord, hearing us, hearing us on that application would be in accordance with the rules of natural justice. The requirements for fair hearing and Article 48, 49, I think. Come again? <laughs> Come again? 50. And Article 50, the requirement of fair hearing and also the requirements for fair administrative action <coughs> under Article 47 of the Constitution. My Lord, we have served the application on the petitioners. Uh, what, uh, what about the second name? Where is the good Having not been able to reach my clients or the first third respondents, I want to believe. But I may not be able to comment on that uh, thing of the honor. It means that yesterday when we said there were difficulties in processing <coughs> the petitioner, and those difficulties are well elaborated in our replying affidavits and the application that we had the court to hear us on. That is all my Do you have any hope of getting your sons if you have done it? Yes, my lord. How much time do you think that you require to make sure that your plans are here? My lord, I would be requesting the court and urging the court to at least hear us on the application before we we move to the orders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all right. But if you read the order that I gave you today, yes, my lord. I said that until the petitioner comes to this court, I'm not going to hear the respondent. Yes, anything. Yes. So, since you are saying that you have not actually been able to communicate with your client, I'm prepared to give you time to actually see whether you can actually communicate with your client. Yes, my lord. If your clients are able to actually bring the petitioner here, then I'm going to say whether to hear you or not on your application. A lot of my instructions were you hear us on the application, which is before the court. I may take directions on uh, the suggestions of the court. Yes. Um, but my instructions were limited to you hear us. Can I give you one hour to see whether all of you can see whether your plans are able to comply with this case order? The orders of personal appearance. Yes, both the orders. All the orders. My Lord, the other order for the petitioner to be here, yes. as I have stated, yes. there are difficulties because, and the difficulties we have set them out in our replying affidavits and the application before the court, the petitioner is required to be processed through immigration. He can only be processed with documents that travel documents, which he has refused, and we have said as much in our affidavits. So, yes. that is the difficulty. So can you bring your client here in the next one hour? Or tell them that uh, the court requires their appearance in the next one hour? And if then we come, we come back in the next one hour and see. 
my lord, my lord, my lord, the, yes, my lord, yes. my lord, on the issues that we have before you, yes. the most relevant client is the director of immigration. Answer the question. Leave the relevant. Yes, my lord. his order sister the court actually knew the people that the court wanted here. So we communicate to them to be here in the next one hour. Where they are relevant or not, that is an issue. The court is going to decide where they are relevant or not. My lord, I may not be able to undertake on that. The reason that I have not been able to read them, I, I would urge the court to be asked for their protection. So I take it that even if the court gives you time, you are not able to read them. Exactly. That's what you are saying. I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. But I have not been able to read them. So at the moment, I cannot undertake whether they will be here in the next one hour. You know, you know, Mr. Mutinda, you, you are not telling me anything. And I'm not going to be going to talk to you about your Yes. Yes. Because if your question is that because the order was issued late yesterday. Yes, my lord. You are not able to actually get your plant in the morning. And I'm telling you that I'm giving you time now yes, to see lord. whether you are able to actually get your plant and inform them that they are required in court. That is okay, my lord. You can, uh, yes? you can give us time. Give us time. But my lord, yes. when, when counsel comes to court and tells you that uh, he, he, he has not, he, the orders were given late last night, and then he's telling you that they have already filed an appeal against those orders, who signed the affidavit? What instructions are there in those affidavits and those applications? Who gave him those instructions? And then he's telling you he has not met them, he has not spoken to them? He must be lying. And he's throwing egg on your face, my lord, and th that egg is not smelling well. <laughs> if, I, if I may... No, no, no. You don't even have audience here. If I may say... My, my lord, lord, do not even give him audience. This is the time now you need to put your foot down. He, he has no audience. Let my him lord, sit we down. Filed an application go home. Yesterday. <laughs> we filed an application. We are not saying we filed it no, today. No, go home. Which, which application? Yes. Signed by who? Yes. Mr. Alberta, you know this court is under obligation. Yes, my lord. To treat all the parties that appear before it. No, my lord, there is something in some Tina said that yes. I think you need to correct him. Yes. He said he is willing to comply with the court's suggestions. They have been treating court orders as suggestions from the court, and he's even suggesting it as much as now in court. It is important you clarify to Mr. Mutinda, advocate, that court orders are orders, not suggestions. It is not be any, anybody who has gone to school of law knows that. I don't know how to clarify. Thank you. You have the clock. I don't have my watch. It's not even safe. If you look at the court, what is it? What is the question? The hours they were given come back 10, 11. So, Mr. Mutinda, do whatever you can do in the next one hour, see whether you are able to actually get hold of your clients. Tell them they are required here at quarter past midday. When we will proceed with this matter. Most of the Most of
He contradicts himself in the same statement. No, no, he said. I think Odunga is reading. So. Thank you.